Religious contexts can include congregations, neighborhoods, cities or counties, and even societies, any of which may affect health. The research base on religious contextual effects is very small, and most of it focuses on adolescence and the extent to which religious context affects rates of delinquency and other behavioral problems. And indeed, based on the small research available, both the presence of religious schools and religiously homogeneous neighborhoods appear to reduce rates of delinquency. I think that's pretty amazing, pretty astounding. Jaffe and colleagues authored a study I found especially well done and their study was not of adolescents. They found that individuals, adults, living in religiously homogeneous neighborhoods had lower mortality rates than those living in religiously heterogeneous neighborhoods after controlling on a wide range of individual and other contextual variables. I, I, I'll take an aside here a little bit. We have such an asso a negative association with the word segregation. We view that as a highly kind of negative word. No, you know, we, we don't want to promote segregation. Um, however, there's a fair amount of research on different topics that shows that kind of being surrounded by people like you is good for you. Um, it's true in terms of age. Older adults do better when they live in environments that are largely comprised of other older adults than they do in, in, in more age diverse neighborhoods. So we've kind of adopted this, this language in, in social sciences where we don't want to say age segregation is good because we never want to say segregation is a good thing. So we talk about, about age heterogeneous and age homogeneous neighborhoods and we see that also in the, in the very nascent research on religious context where they talk about religious homogeneity versus religious heterogeneity. Uh, but the concept is, is kind of the same, and I think it says something interesting about the political connotations of, of various words and what they mean. Uh, but there's pretty, pretty strong scientific evidence that some kinds of, quote, segregation, unquote, are, are actually pretty good for us in terms of general well-being, happiness, and that kind of thing, and health.